Here's the top sides of this 1985 Bianca Aphrodite 101. So I've been trying to keep water out of this while, you know, anytime it rains. Haven't had much luck. Um, pretty much found any hole that I could find and tried to run all this tape all around the edges where the uh, tow rail had been installed and taken off and so there's a lot of screw holes that run along underneath this tape. And not sure where water's coming in. I've got an area up here where I put the new hatch on just kind of temporarily and sealed it down with tape on the edges because before it just had a piece of plexiglass wrapped in some uh, plastic and uh, it was still leaking. But everything that I could find, I closed up. My only suspect now might be this area here where the mast step is. And maybe that needs to be rebedded. Maybe there, But there's an awful lot of water that gets into this boat still. And um, so we're going to take a look inside here and I'll show you that the bilges are full. The engine compartment has a good bit of water sitting in it as well. So I'm going to have to get the water out of this and then figure out... Next time it rains, I need to come sit inside the boat with some flashlights and try and figure out where in the world water's coming in because I'm going to show you some of the cabinetry inside of this that I need to be working on. New floors, you know, new stringers for the floors, new floors, new cabinet facings. But I really can't do that until I figure out how to keep the water out. This is a new uh, floor board access panel to the engine that I built. Still needs to be fiberglass though and gel coated. So as you can see there's a good bit of standing water down in those bilges. So there's the bilge area up there and they're all connected by a series of tubes so water's either coming in the back and working its way up or it's coming in the front and then dribbling its way back toward the stern of the boat so not quite sure which way things are flowing the boat overall tilts toward the stern and so you know I typically have to pump out using a, a bilge pump and then I'll use a shop back up in the forward area here to get these clean and dry. So, so we're looking forward I'm just inside the companionway and we're looking forward you're seeing kind of the the uh, settee area this is the area where we'll also be able to put that drop leaf table in there's a little midsection where the head can go, and then up front there's a little bit of a V-berth up front. We'll take a closer look at that in a little bit. A little kitchen area toward the back here. So we'll darken this up here a little bit, let you see this. A little bit of a kitchen area right here. And so you've got a sink, you know, be able to put a faucet there for pumping water. All right, a bit of a quarter berth back there. Over here, this is where the stove will go. And you can see there's a bilge pump that's got to be reinstalled. Now for both of these quarter burrs, um, the fuel tanks both sit underneath, the two diesel tanks will sit underneath those quarter burrs. And you've got more access under there uh, to the engine compartment in that area right there, as well as topside access from out in the cockpit. So some uh, wall cabinets will be going up on the wall and however else we choose to trim this out. But as you can see with all this water that gets in here every time it rains, and you can see these, these floor stringers are getting pretty rotted out and delaminated. Really probably going to need to replace a lot of this stuff um, just because it's been underwater too many times. When the original owners bought the boat, it was literally, you know, water was probably almost halfway up the walls, the side walls. So it was really, uh, really in pretty tough shape uh, for them to get cleaned out. So you got a holding tank back there underneath, so for the head, and you know, obviously pump outs and everything are up to the up on deck. But all in all, it's a really good, strong structure. This is the area that I don't know might have water coming down and then just really kind of coming down that compression post and you know filling into the bilges that's my 
only place that I'm not sure of, and this is where I'm going to need to sit in a rainstorm and, and try and figure this out. So let's take a look uh, a little bit further forward. So this is looking up in the V-berth. You can see the anchor locker up there. It just needs a cover to go over that. It's a draining uh, cover locker, so it drains down through the nose of the boat. And a few more miscellaneous and sundry parts, you know, sitting there. Uh, you'll have a hanging locker here. And on this side, you're going to have where the head will be installed. So there's the through haul uh, for that. And then there's your water fill and your pump out uh, location that's right there too. Uh, lots of work to do. Um, a little bit of headliner to scrape off still and redo wall liner that needs to go up. Cover all of this. So, could be interesting. Could be fun. All the cushions recently came back from the upholstery shop, so these have all been reupholstered. So these are the settee cushions, backrests, and the quarter berth cushions. Uh, kind of a sunbrella material, and everything. I think it, everything is breathable, and uh, so those are good to go. Uh, v berth, obviously the V berth cushion there too. So. And here's the companionway ladder and the drop leaf table are finished so the refinishing on those is done <laughs> 